So this question asks about, um, it tells you the energy profile for the forward reaction, all right? Remember, this is a forward reaction for a reversible reaction, all right? And obviously, because it's it absorbs a lot of energy and then produces just a little bit energy, it's an endothermic reaction. So this one is an endothermic reaction, all right? But um, you have this activation energy, which is always positive because remember bones must be broken before a reaction starts so any reaction will require some kind of energy to start and so if this energy was a lot and then the energy produced was just a little bit because you know it didn't it didn't produce a lot of energy when forming bonds then it will be an endothermic reaction but if it absorbed just a little bit of energy all right so remember it's always going to first absorb some energy and then it produced a lot of energy when forming bones then it's going to be an exothermic reaction so what's the question the question asks um, about the sign of the activation energy and the type of energy change for the reverse reaction. So remember, it's asking about the reverse reaction. So we're going to switch everything around. The sign of the activation energy, which is this one, all right, or that one, is always positive because you always have to break the bonds before a reaction starts. And so it's always going to be positive. So it's either C or D. And then it's asking about the energy change or the enthalpy change. So this one, again, is endothermic. So the opposite will be exothermic. And that's the answer of, the react of this question. It's D.